guys, Zuljan here, and welcome to Dragon Quest Builders 2. I've been waiting for this sucker for a long time. I want to say thank you so much to Square Enix for hooking me up with an early access key to this game to play for you today. This is one of the most requested series on the channel. I covered the, the first one uh, a while back, and it was such an awesome game. Let's start a new one. It's time to design your character. Okay, male for sure. Um, hair. Oh, we gotta go with the blue hair though. Blue hair, because every action RPG character really needs blue hair. Uh, skin tone, we gonna go with a little bit, uh, I used to get sun back in the day before I started YouTube. Eyes, oh, we need blue eyes too. I actually have brown eyes. I don't have blue hair, but um, hey, it looks pretty good. We'll go with that. It almost looks like black eyes, huh? Bang. And name. Well, of course, Zuljin. Bang! We're ready to go now. Are you happy with this character? You can change your character's appearance, gender, and name once you reach a certain point in the game. It's all good. It's all good. Let's do it. You can now adjust the game settings. I pretty much just went with default controls. That ought to be good. Let's do it, man. Let's get into it. Venture forth, my children, and destroy all before you. Oh! The Dragon Lord! And his dragon pet, thus decreed the great and glorious high priest Hargon, and lo, his minions of mayhem, did march out rank upon rank to ravage the land and strike fear into human hearts. <laughs> That's your laugh, bro? Really? Our unholy father then gave up his mortal form so that Malroth, the master of destruction, might be born and the world be consumed by catastrophe. Alas, mighty Malroth was defeated at the hands of the despicable spawn of Erdrick before Hargon's glorious vision could be brought to life. Yeah, that's me. Oh! Destroyed. Yep, I did that. The moon has waxed and waned many times since that fateful day. Now peace reigns supreme, and our order has been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Tell me, brothers and sisters, what does a monster do when backed into a corner? It bites, I say. We must do everything and anything within our power to bring this world to ruin. <laughs> huzzah, huzzah! All hail, Horgon! Praise be to Malroth. Oh, boy. <laughs> they plot on us, y'all. Oh, hellish father, hear our prayer. Deliver us from this world of oblivion. Lead us ever onwards as we build our dominion of darkness together. This is so weird, man. Dragon Quest Builders 2. Zuljin. You are the hero who will save this world. Arise, my child. Oh boy, here we go with the my child again. Your destiny awaits. Oh, it's a skeleton. Wake up, Z. Hit him in the face. Care. The look on your face. I was only ribbing you, my child. You're no hero. I know that much. You're one of them builders, right? Uh, yes. Care. You want to watch that mouth of yours, boy? Telling the truth might land you with more than you bargained for. Still, at least you're not a master builder. You might only be an apprentice. But that'll do. I've actually just got a job for a lad like you. Why are we taking orders from a skeleton? Once you've wiped the sleep from your sockets, come and meet me up on deck. What is the skeleton doing? Oh, we've been imprisoned. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh. Oh, we just sleeping right in. Oh, wait. We need. We need more. We need more health. I didn't. I didn't want to wake up yet. Oh, he's sleeping good, do you hear? Mmm. It's like the moans on one of them shampoo commercials. Oh, a little stretch, too. All right, examine. Zuljin peeks inside the pot. Poof! Poo whiff! What a pong! This must be the toilet. Oh, God! I didn't even think. I'm so used to getting pots in all these games. I didn't think it was going to be a toilet. Hello. Beeldeer! Beeldeer! I have something to tell you. Did you know that you can run by holding R1 when you move around? I'm sure the extra speed will come in handy. 
But take care near high ledges or you'll meet your maker sooner <laughs> rather than later. Yeah, whoa! Dude, that's fast. That is really fast. Okay, can we examine these barrels? No. Okay. Uh. Ah, the builder. Tell me, boy, do the children of Horgon frighten you? Do you wish to flee from this floating coffin? These waters are cursed. Strange voices carry over them across the waves, and many a vessel has vanished into vapor. The crew victims to an unknown fate. Now are you scared? Not as scared as I am, I assure you. I'll be off this death trap the first opportunity. All right. Okay. Oh. Can we... That's not the right key. Uh, Bill Deer. Conversation. Something to strike up a conversation with. Uh, I suggest you remember this advice until the day you die. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. You can ask that girl to bring the pipe down. She won't stop screaming. How does she expect me to rest in place when she's being so noisy? Oh, hello. I couldn't help but overhear you hobnobbing with that dreadful dreadnought. So, you're an apprentice builder, are you? I was going to ask you if you'd come up with a plan to get us off this ship. But you're far too much of a rank amateur to figure something like that out? What? A wine goddess's name did I ever become a builder if I have been a farmer or a miner? I never have been left to rot in the stinking cell. Oh, that's it back there. Okay, I didn't see. I thought that was me saying. Sob. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sob. We thought the children of Hargon were all but vanquished, but they were running scared. How did they ever turn the tables on us like this? Okay, well, um, I bet you I have to build like a, um, a key, you know? Alright, let's go up, shall we? Up here, build ear! <laughs> Stairs are no match for you, I see. Oh, God. You just can't keep a good lad down. <laughs> now, as you'll no doubt have spotted... We're sailing on the open ocean. You've got no chance of escaping, so don't even bother trying. Not eat not that you'd get very far. Anyway, you're nothing but skin and bones. Here, get this down your gullet. It's fresh from the captain's table, which is where I sit, by the way. A piece of kelp, and I can eat it. So I didn't remember I can't remember when he last ate, but thought of the food makes his stomach start rumbling. Ooh, edibles. Believe it or not. Kelp can be eaten. So, of course, I eat, well, kelp's like seaweed, right? Select it with left or right square to eat it. Doing so will refill your fullness gauge and replenish some health. Um, fullness gauge. All right, we got 5% from that. Not a whole bunch, but we finished a quest. Down in one. That kelp's pretty tasty, isn't it? The pungent aroma of slimy texture make for a spine-tingling combination. You should thank your lucky stores you got to scoff such a scrumptious snack. Because it'll be the last meal you ever eat. Yep, you heard me right. You'll be dead soon enough. But don't worry. You'll be shuffling off this mortal coil just yet. I've got plenty of hard graft for you to be getting on with first. He's going to make me work? Oh. You can wipe that lily-livered look off your face. And I'm not going to send you to the cemetery anytime soon. So as long as you've got some life left in you, I'll give you a chance to keep hold of it. But you'll have to follow my orders to the letter. Okay? What's that? You want to know where we are and what you're doing here? If you're that desperate to find out how far up the creek you are without a paddle, I might add, go talk to those five monsters beneath the flag over there. All right? Oh! That are clearly marked. Build here! <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't get that. If you get stuck or can't figure out where to go next... Be sure to check back with whoever you spoke to last. It shows you're willing to do the job right, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now, that's the tip that'll serve you well in this life and the next. I don't, I don't really know how to say what he said. Hell's bells! What a storm we had last night. It washed all the torches overboard and scattered my barrels around the deck. I beg your pardon? You say you slept right through it? Good gracious, you must sleep like a particularly lazy log to have missed it. <laughs> a humdinger of a hurricane like that. All right. I guess we, let's talk to the big guy first. Middenhall, Kenok, Moonbrook. From forth these three kingdoms did come the hated heroes, the scions of Erdrick, and laid almighty Horgon low. With his dying breath, our exalted leader, 
surrendered his mortal form so that Malrol, the Lord of Destruction, could be born. Alas, he too was vanquished. But does that mean all hope is lost? No, I say, Horgon's ambitions did not perish with him. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day we will reduce the world to ruin. Talk to one of five monsters, okay? You're that apprentice builder that we nabbed in Cantlin, aren't you? I'm, <laughs> I must admit... <laughs> oh God, really? As a lisp? I must admit, I feel a few pangs of sympathy for you. <laughs> it's not very nice to know that you in if nigh. Cree hee hee. Oh my God. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Mr. Builder, <laughs> you're the only apprentice if you're prancing around <laughs> like you own the place. Honestly, you can't go anywhere <laughs> this day without bumping into an insolent little builder hell-bent on undoing all the hard work. I'm sorry I'm laughing so much, y'all. The world going down in a pan, that's for sure. <laughs> Your only thought is to eliminate bothersome builders like you when they got dang it square. Y'all are terrible. Urgh. The ships keep swaying from side to side. I feel a bit seasick. What's that? Oh, at least this is a drakey. You want to know where we're sailing to? I haven't the foggiest of He sounds like a snake. The soup, the high ups would never tell stuff like that to lowly little drakey. It's either drakey or drakey. I'm going to call him drakey. Hello, goo man. <laughs> it's a squishy. We are the last surviving members of Children of Hargoon. The ones who didn't get squished. We're going to bring this world to its knees. All in the name of the great and glorious high priest. <laughs> What's with all the slurping? I'm just salivating at the prospecting of squashing you goomans once and for all. <laughs> you know how long I've been practicing that slurp? <laughs> All right, Skelly Man. Kehehe. So, you talk to the rest of the crew, eh? Obedient little blighter, aren't you? So now you know. We're the last survivors of the children of Horgon. Loyal servants of the mighty master of destruction himself. That means you builders are our sworn enemies. We're sailing... Whoa! Watch that thing, bruh. We're sailing the ocean blue, rounding up pesky vermin like you, along with anyone else who gets in our way. All right. Uh, you want to know what we're do going to do with all these builders? Only the higher-ups know for sure. But it makes no bones about it. I reckon you are lot up <laughs> or up for the chop. Still, that doesn't mean we can't make the most of what little time you've got left. Just be thankful you can be of some benefit as your final moment draws ever closer. <laughs> this reminds me of like an Austin Powers where... They say that they were going to kill him in some weird way instead of just killing him. Listen up, Builder. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars or worse, you'll do as I say. So here's the deal. Last night's storm messed up the ship. Good and proper. I want you to make things ship shape around here again. To start with, I want you to break up all the driftwood strewn about the deck and bring me the wood when you're done. Go on, chop, chop. All right. Uh, each piece of driftwood is marked with an icon. Run up to it and press the triangle, punch it. Somewhere really useful. Okay. Oh, that's the punch. All right. Attacks are a little bit slower than I remember. Wish I could punch these guys. Nope. Can't happen. Squishing. All right. That's eight of ten. We got. I wonder what's going on with that hole in the floor. Oh well. I'm really looking forward to this playthrough. I'm so glad Square Enix gave you a key to this game. You guys, in the comments, say thank you, Square Enix, for hooking us up. All right, there's the last two. Well, well, my deck looks much better. Shape, now that you picked up all the wood, no flies on you, eh? Still, I suppose, being given the chance to save your sorry skin will tend to give you a kick up the coxie? What? You know what I'm saying, why I'm giving you this chance? Truth is, a sworn servant of the Master of Destruction, I'm not supposed to fraternize with your kind, but considering the state of my ship, I've got no other choice. Anyway, it's not like you're a proper builder. You're only an apprentice at the end of the day, so I'm sure it's fine. They always insult me. He shouldn't forsake... 
he sh he wouldn't forsake me for a little thing like this, right? Anyway, I think we've chewed the fat long enough. If you want to cling on to your life for a little longer, I suggest you continue working like the dutiful little builder you are. Just remember, you can get all sorts of useful materials by smashing things up. Just be careful that you ba what you bash doesn't bash you back. Yeah, remember the first playthrough? Pipple was killing me, man. Pipple would just insult me back to back. You're an odd one. Since the moment I let you out the cell, you've been scurrying about my deck chatting with my crew without a care in the world. If anything, I'd wager you were actually enjoying this. There must be something wrong with you. I can't explain any other way. I mean, why else would you wear that dopey grin on your dopey mush? Faced with some fate, most prisoners would be scared white, but not you. You what? You always look like that when someone's got a job for you? Hmm. Seems like you aren't scared of us at all. I better keep you busy or who knows what you might try and pull. Luckily, there's plenty- Hey, watch the sword, man. There's plenty for you to be getting on with. The For starters, some of the boys on deck have got jobs that need doing. Report back to me when you've sorted them out. All right. So we've got the big guy over here with the maces. This looks like the killer clown guy. I've been watching you, Builder. I saw you scrabble around the deck, greedily pockling, pocketing all that wood you could find. The raging tempest I struck last night washed all the navigation lights overboard. But such things can be rebuilt, can they not? To wit, I wish for you to use the wood that you collected to make some new torches. You see that worn out workbench over there? Oh yeah, it's on now. Use it to make five torches. Here, I believe you will need the oil to craft them. Yes! Wood and oil. It used to be slime goop. Once you have the torches, you must put them back in their proper positions. The five black blocks will be a sign where they're the five black blocks will be your sign. There is one by the workbench and four more around the stairs that lead below decks. Place one torch upon each block. Alright? Do not fail me, builder. Craft the five torches and put them in place. Return to me when you have finished the task. Alright. So we building? Mm-hmm. Torches. Oh. One actually just gives us five. Beautiful. So we got some oil and stuff left. There we go. All right. Torches can be placed on top of other blocks. Select the item with... Okay, good. So, first one. All right. One of five. Two. Three. And there was one right on the side of the workbench, too. Oh. And you just break them up just like this and they should pop up. Yep. Sweet. And... Boom. Light up the deck. Hmm. It seems like you've done exactly as I've asked. The guiding flames burn brightly as before. <laughs> that ain't really bright, man. It's just a few torches on the deck. <laughs> For a ship such as ours, they could do with being a touch more sinister. If I do say so myself, but I shan't complain. The deck is illuminated once more. I must say, your propensity to create unsettles me. Not that it matters. You will soon outlive your usefulness. But your work is not over yet. There are others aboard the ship who might still find some use for you. Go to them, I pray. The evil prayers that you've been praying? All right, I think I saw another, yeah. Oh, it's back there, actually. All right, oh, another skeleton. You aren't the captain, are you, though? Well, if it isn't the so-called builder. That, that's apprentice builder to you, bud. Anyone think you own the place? You're, you're strutting around this deck? What's with the attitude? I'm just happy. You're running errands for the boys on the captain's orders and you want me to give you a job to do? Tell you what, you can help me relieve the boredom of being stuck on this good-for-nothing ship as long as you're not afraid to put your life on the line. Truth is, I've always wondered if builders can fight. Now you feel how you feel about going mano a mano with a monster. Oi, you! Fancy taking a swing at this kid? Just try not to kill him. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, better put them dukes up. 
I warn you though that Skeleton's soldier a proper head case come and find me after the fight's finished if you could still walk oh yeah baby skeleton attacks I just oh okay hold on hold on oh you're down oh I didn't even have to take his life bar all the way down he put his head back on <laughs> you lost your head man well you're a better boxer than you look I'll give you that. Still, the only thing those pathetic punches viewers hurt was my pride. Not that I should be surprised. You're pretty bony for someone who claims to be a builder. That doesn't exactly bode well for the future career, does it? Does it? I'm gonna die anyway, says your captain. Lucky you don't have a future to speak of at all. Oh, gosh. All right. Be off with you. Go tell that bosun what a weakling you are. Okay, you fight like a cow's cadaver? Like a cow corpse? What? Your build, your build is really aren't cut out for combat after all. L let me borrow that sword you got, homie. What's that? You would have smashed him to smithereens if you had a weapon? Yeah, likely story. I'm going to bash him upside the skull with one of them torches. If you're such a whiz at whipping up, don't make me laugh. Oh, huh? what's that book you got there? <gasps> Did I just learn a recipe? Oh, hell yeah. And I just wrote it down, too. A cypress stick. A broken branch whittled to work as a weapon. Don't just stand there smirking. Tell me what's so funny. You what? You just worked out how to make a cypress stick? Well, I never. Are you telling me that builders can invent things as well as make them? Heck yeah, we can. Well, don't just stand there looking around gormless. Put your money where your mouth is and make this cypress stick then. You know where the workstation is, right? Oh, yes, I do. And one more thing. Once you've made it, don't forget to equip it. A weapon's no use otherwise. <laughs> I love how they just telling me what to do. I know this is like the tutorial area or whatever, but... All right. Build! Oh, heck yeah. A cypress stick. All right. Okay. Try equipping the cypress stick to deal with some. All right. Select, equip. Oh, baby. Anything when you hold it? No. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, y'all in trouble now, baby. The boy genius returns. Cypress stick in hand. Now you really look the part. What? You say fancy another crack at the old bag of bones? Now that you've got a weapon? Yes. That's the spirit. I'm going to watch that rotter try to put himself back together once you get through with him. <laughs> oh, he's got confidence now, huh? Ouch. All right, get close, Z. Bam! Compound fracture. <laughs> A bone-crushing defeat. I don't know if I can pick myself up after this one. Go on, then, lad. Go brag about beating me to bow, son. I sure will. Well, you certainly gave that bag of bones a good hiding. <laughs> Just look at the state of him. The only thing he's good for now is feeding a dog. Oh, I see. Bones. <laughs> You what? You feel a bit sorry for him? That's a new one. I'll wager no human ever shed a tear for a monster before. Just don't think you can butter me up by tickling my funny bone. Oh god, all the bone puns. Anyway, thanks for that, Builder. It certainly helped pass the time, if nothing else. I even think I learned something today. You Builders are useless in a fist fight, but with a weapon in hand, you're not to be sneezed at. But you're not done for the day, just yet. Not as long shot. I got a feeling in my bones, oh gosh, there's something else on board, someone else on board who needs a helping hand. Actually, Mr. Skeleton, that, my friends, is going to mark the end of the first episode in this Dragon Quest Builders 2 series. Check the description below for a link to the playlist that I'm going to be adding to every day as as frequently as i can well hopefully i won't miss that many episodes because i do live stream six days a week and i'm gonna try to prioritize getting dragon quest builders uploaded for you guys every day until we're finished the game give me some dap on that like button to show you support thanks again so much for watching and for square enix for hooking me up with the key as always this is Uljin signing off and we'll see you next time Break it down.